Hello students. So let's try to solve one more problem from CSIR NET 2023 December examination. And this is again problem from central force problem and uh, central force basically and it's a very interesting but uh, this is really little bit confusing question. So let's try to discuss one. So there is a particle of mass m which is moving in three dimensional potential. So phi r is equal to minus k by r minus k dash 3 r cube k k dash. And it is given that the angular momentum of particle is L which will conserve because this is central force. So what we have to do? We have to find the necessary condition to have a stable circular orbit. So this is very interesting. So first thing you have to be just make sure that orbit is circular and it should be stable. So we have to take two things in account to analyze this particular problem and we have to just talk about the condition. So obviously this type of problem we can easily solve with the use of V effective and when we will go for the V effective then we have V effective basically. So what will be V effective? So V effective is equal to L square upon 2M R square plus potential energy that value is equal to minus K by R minus K dash upon 3 R cube. So this is my V effective and it is also given K as well as K dash is greater than 0. So if this is my V effective then for a circular orbit what is going to happen? For circular orbit we have del V effective upon del R must be equal to 0. So this is condition for the circular orbit but here we have to also analyze about the stability of that particular circular orbit. Circular orbit can be stable, it may be unstable also. But here this is the condition. So if we will just go for this then we have minus L square upon M R cube plus K upon R square. And here we will go for plus 3k dash upon 3 r4 must be equal to 0. So from there we can have a quadratic equation one when we can take 1 by r common. So if we will take 1 by r common then we have L square upon m we are taking r square common. So L square upon mr plus k plus 3 k dash upon r square must be equal to 0. So this will give us the quadratic equation and when we will go for this quadratic equation this will be negative sign. Then what we have? We have k r square minus L square m r plus then this will be 3 3 is cancelled so this value is equal to k dash. So k dash must be equal to 0. So this is my quadratic equation and from there we can easily find the radius of this particular circle. So when we will go for finding this radius then this r is equal to r naught and this value is equal to L square upon m plus minus and you have b square minus 4 is ac. So this is a and this is c. So this has L to the power 4 m square minus 4 k k dash upon 2 k. So here is one thing and we have to make sure, we have to make sure that this radius should be always a real quantity. It should not be a negative or it should not be an imaginary quantity. So from here what we can have, we can have L to the power 4 upon m square must be greater than 4 time k k dash and here we will go for L square upon m square 4 must be greater than k k dash. So if you will see then I can guess option A is correct. So this will be option A is correct. This is directly matching. But my question is that where we are ensuring that this orbit is stable. 
and here one more condition can be there it may be possible that l to the power 4 upon m square can be possible to k k dash if this is going to happen then what is going to happen this is again a, a case of analysis so for that what we have to do we have to just go for a second order derivative and especially we have to check what will happen when this condition is going to hold then what will happen when r naught is going to l square upon m so suppose this r naught is going to happen if this condition so if suppose somehow this condition is going to hold then how we can go for this so don't be in very hurry to just stick this particular option obviously this option a is correct this is very a this is a matter of just a chance but you have to discuss this thing you have to analyze this thing from the second order because it is also said that we have to talk about the stable circular orbit so this is only condition for the circular orbit what about the stability so when we will go for a stability of this one then we can have second order derivative so i have just so we what we have del square v effective upon del r square at r is equal to r naught must be greater than zero and when we will go for this particular thing then what we have we have 3 l square upon m r to the power 4 minus 2 k upon r cube minus 4 k dash upon r 5 must be greater than 0 and we have also one particular condition that is minus l square upon m r cube plus k r naught square plus k dash upon r naught to the power 4 is equal to 0. This is from our first order derivative with that v effective. This is case for circular orbit. So here we can write this whole thing by using this one and this is at the r is equal to r naught. So when we are talking about r is equal to r naught then let's see what is going to happen. So we can take two part so we can write it into two form. So one form is 2 l square upon r4 minus 2k upon r cube minus 2k dash upon r5 and 1 will be there. So there will be plus l square upon mr4 and this will be gone and we have minus 2k dash upon r5 must be greater than 0 and add the r is equal to r0. So if we will put this value is r0 then this term is exactly 0 because this term is 0. We can take it negative sign here and then this term is exactly 0. So this term is 0 and what do we have? We have l square upon m r0 to the power 4 minus 2k dash r0 to the power 5 must be greater than 0. So we have l square upon m must be greater than 2k dash upon r0. And now we can put the value of r0 in a case when k k dash is equal to l to the power 4 upon m square. Sorry, 4 k k dash is equal to, so in this case, just I am talking about this case. If this case is going to happen, then r square is l square upon m, mk basically, l square upon 2mk. So this will be L square upon 2mk. So this is your R0, L square upon 2mk. So just you can correct it. So when we will put it there, L square upon 2mk0. So here we have L square upon m must be greater than 2k dash and this value is equal to L square in by 2mk dash. So when we have this particular thing, then again you will surprisingly, surprisingly you will get r l to the power 4 upon 4 m square is greater than k k dash. So this is this condition is going to satisfy in a both form. In first form, this is your condition that r naught must be real. Then also this must be 
condition and when my radius is this one l square upon 2 m k when this condition is hold then also you have exactly same condition so students don't try to tick the question in a very hurry you have to just go for a step by step solution and analyze all the aspect of question and then we can easily say that option number one is the correct answer so this is wonderful problem lot of analysis is there you have to just work it and yes in a very casual way you can say that this is my sufficient condition because uh, we are just uh, this is not necessary but it may be the sufficient condition so but yes if you will go for the complete solution of this one you have to check the stability then obviously you have to check the both thing when this is going to equal and when this is going to greater than so in both case this condition is going to hold so option number 1 is correct one thank you